Our alliance is finished. I have no need of you. Did you know? It was originally intended that the player could choose an unseen dark path in KOTOR 2, where the Lord of Pain, Darth Sion, would be killed by Darth Nihilus in a confrontation aboard the Ravager. But how, and why didn't we see it? I have never needed you. Now many of you have seen a version of this transpire on YouTube, the most popular being the Enclave Extended mod, where after Kreia seemingly leaves the exile for dead on Dantooine, Sion then confronts Nihilus to proclaim their partnership to be ended. Nihilus then shows Sion he is the more powerful Sith, and Sion limps away like a kicked mongrel pup, allowed to survive. So, what was meant to actually happen? Why didn't Sion die in this version? Well, in the cut content of KOTOR 2, there was a segment in which all party members believed you to be dead, except this was part of a Geno Haradan side quest. The Geno Haradan, of course, being the fan favorite dark side only League of Assassins questline first seen in the original Knights of the Old Republic. KOTOR 2's Geno Haradan questline was ultimately cut, but its story beats were intended as follows. 1. Before you head to Nashadar, there was supposed to be a cutscene of a Sith assassin informing Sion that you are currently on the Smuggler's Moon. Sion then pledges to go there and kill you, and in doing so, kill the last of the Jedi. Does he live? Prepare my ship. I will attend to this myself. 2. On your travels on Nashadar, you come across the Geno Haradan headquarters, and you fight with their leader. It's actually much more complicated than stumbling across it, but this is simplifying. When you defeat Desicus inside the Geno Haradan base, the entire place blows up. This leaves your party members and Scions who supposedly sees this and believes you're dead. Three, Sion then travels to the Ravager to tell Nihilus that you have been killed on Nashadar and that their alliance together is finished. Nihilus then proceeds to eviscerate the Lord of Pain. And by eviscerate, I mean he kills Sion outright. And this was actually tied to the Atris's Kreia ending as the Queen of Betrayal, but that was also not restored. So instead, the scene has been modified so Sion simply limps away beaten. And that, my friends, is the story behind the craziest Sith face-off since Treya trusted in her own fragile alliance. However, just for good measure, here's the entire clip, minus Sion getting back up. Thank <laughs> you. 